Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. Today I want to show you how to install standalone ADB on a Windows machine. So just go ahead and follow this link in the description. It's going to take you to this page. Here you can download the standalone zip file, or executable rather. I'm just going to click Google Drive to install it from Google Drive. Click download, wait for it to prompt me where I want to save it. Okay, I'm going to say yes to save it to my downloads folder. And then I'm just going to open it. Now, yes, that's going to ask me whether or not I want to install ADB and Fastboot. To this, I'm going to say yes. Do I want to install ADB system-wide? Basically, if you want ADB to be installed for all of the users on your machine, you're going to say yes. But if you just want to install it for your current user, you're going to say no. And I'm just going to say no. And it asks me if I want to install the drivers for the, for the devices. And if you have never had ADB installed, it's a good idea to say yes here to install those drivers. However, because I already have them, I'm just going to say no. Okay. So now we're going to go to our profile, C drive, users, Arter, and then find ADB folder here. This is where that executable installed the application. We're going to go inside and we're going to copy this path. Basically, what we're going to do right now is we're going to add this to our path variable so we can conveniently use ADB from uh, the command prompt without having to go to this location every time. So we're going to right click on my PC, go to properties, go to advanced system settings, environment variables, click new. Oh, actually, I already have ADB home. Well, let's just say I don't have it. Let's say I didn't have it. So create new variable. And we're going to type ADB home. And we're going to paste the path. I'm going to click OK. Now we're going to find path variable. I'm going to click edit. We're going to go all the way in the back, I'm going to put a semicolon there if there is not one already. Make sure there is no spaces. And we're going to do percent percent. And we're going to say ADB underscore home. I'm going to click OK, click OK, click OK. Close this window. And now we can open up our common prompt and we can type ADB. OK, if you get a bunch of stuff like this, once you typed ADB, that means you have installed it correctly. So thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.